We start tonight following a health alert. Late this afternoon, the state announced two additional cases of Legionnaire's disease, up from three cases. That now makes five in all. So far, probably all tied to the Sheraton Hotel in downtown Atlanta. And the Sheraton expects to remain closed for at least two weeks, maybe even longer, while they are investigating the source of this mystery bacteria. The Sheraton shut down late yesterday afternoon, and we have now confirmed the hotel knew about the first two cases this past Friday. John Shirick is on the story for us tonight. It was Friday, June 12th, when the Georgia Department of Public Health found out that two people who had stayed in the Sheraton Hotel in downtown Atlanta in late June and early July had since contracted Legionnaire's disease. Three more cases were confirmed after that, five in all so far. DPH told the hotel right away on Friday, but the hotel did not shut down right away because the state had evidence that the infected guests had been in just one part of the hotel for a limited period of time, possibly near the pool or a fountain or a hot tub. So the state epidemiologist with the Department of Public Health, Sherry Drenzik, told the hotel that the first step should be just to shut down those possible sources of Legionella bacteria, which the hotel did. Uh, in the absence of other evidence that there was widespread or ongoing risk of Legionella to every guest in this hotel, the immediate control measures were the first step while the investigation proceeds. The hotel decided on its own Monday afternoon to close its doors, and a spokesperson says it could take at least two weeks to track down the source of the bacteria. Trace Blackmore of Blackmore Enterprises in Lawrenceville specializes in tracking down Legionella bacteria in commercial and industrial buildings. He says the hotel is probably looking at every single inch of plumbing. So what they're doing, they're probably collecting water samples uh, to see where the bacteria has come from. I would check areas uh, like shower heads, water faucets, uh, areas that could provide a mist into where the, uh, the guests are. Blackmore says the bacteria is in all hotels because it's in everyone's water. Sherry Drenzik says that's why it's important for commercial and industrial buildings to have a stringent water quality management plan according to CDC standards. The state is also contacting every single person who stayed in the hotel in June and July to find out who else might have gotten sick who did not, and then figure out why. A young boy